thought we would do something different for YouTube this time and um, start a playthrough of this game called Lake. Now, Lake is about a woman named Meredith who goes home for two weeks to help her dad out and take over his job. And she just, she's a post, she's a post woman for two weeks. And um, the game is all about that. It's super chill, very relaxing. And I thought that that would be fun for, stuff for us to do. So without any further ado, let's play late. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad that we can now spend two stress-free weeks in a good old Providence oak. I can't read, so, you know, Hello? hold it against There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks? Steve sounds like a, a bitch. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. I will keep testing for at it, girl. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time. I don't for know. Meredith does sound a no lot problem, like me Meredith. because. Postal workers I will go always above have each other's back. At work at Your times, dad helped me dozens of times whenever I, I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He and hardly ever missed a day. In the ass. I'm sure you'll do great. So, you know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then. Get ready to roll. Okay. See, it's cute. It's a cute little game. It makes me feel cozy. This lake is always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park. With mailboxes. <laughs> Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Okay. Let's do it. Deliver in the mail. We did it. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Oh. He wants me to get it out of the back. Whoops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm new here, I don't know how to use my leg. Okay, we're on High Street. High Street? 
cute little house. Oh, y'all need to cut this yard. This yard is not it. Oh, this is not up to code. HOA. HOA here. Cut your yard, sir. And these plants need to be five yeah, centimeters her. further from the home. Whew. Finally done. Finally done? Girl, all we did was deliver a piece of mail and a package. Are you kidding me? You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Meredith, what Computers. is going on, honey? Should I buy one? You're either uh, a go-getter or, or, or are you sarcastic? Depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Okay, Frank. Okay. Girl, get out the car. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Dead by daylight moment. So it's Monday afternoon. It's Hi, Meredith. Awful dark. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed. It should safely. be Monday evening. The Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Steve, I swear to God, don't come at me with no bullshit, girl. Because I am not for it. I am not for it. I told y'all I would skip your little... Bucky ass Good morning, party. Meredith. Ready for your first day? Because I needed these two weeks off so I could do this for my dad. Now, y'all better fuck off. I'm sorry. I'm feeling agitated. I'm feeling like I'm feeling very attacked because this is this is red flag management right here. <laughs> this is red flag management. All right, we're ready to morning, rock, Frank, because we just ready to rock. deliver mail. It's a great day to be on the road. Yes, I it is. I filled up the mail bag in the truck, so you're good to go. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. What? There's a map in the cabin, in case you get Got lost. Got a map in there. Yeah, I'm going to need it. I'll probably need that. Definitely bon need it. All right. Hasta, hasta, some, hasta la pasta. All right, look. All right. So here we go. How many weeks are in here? Three weeks? Oh, wow. So we are doing 21 days. Let's do it. Let's look at the map. Where we got to go today? We got to go to the Bear Creek. So we want to make it to where we go from the post office to where we gotta go so all right that looks like that's pointless but you know mail carriers travel in a circle throw that ass in a circle uh -huh. throw that ass in a circle Woo! throw that ass in a circle and if you ain't gonna have no ass throw it in the square you know they do they have to all right so here we go and look we're at 216 main We're gonna come right over here. We got a package to deliver. We're gonna park right here. Come on, girl. We're on Main Street. It's light, girl. Ooh. 
Hey, girl. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. I'm so sure. now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. More like B. Arthur. If I'd had the money, I could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with... I better not say anything till I've had my coffee. <laughs> a slut and a moron. Um, so this is only Actually, temporary. this is only temporary. <laughs> That's what I said, too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Okay. Sure. Well, it was nice to meet you, Nancy. I think you are a beautiful soul. I think you are worthy of having a meaningful relationship. And whatever it is you need, I just think, I just want you to know that, okay? You have, you have a good day. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Oh, that's right, sweetheart. Oh, well, I'm finally going to be an angel. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I like the bell. It, it tinkled when you left the store. That was cute. That's a nice little touch. Alright, we're gonna come down here and deliver some mail. You know, mail people drive on the wrong side of the road all the time. It, it's a thing. It's a thing. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. In the 80s, it was a thing. All right, so now we're gonna go do our big circle. Go ahead in a circle. We gotta go. I'm actually enjoying this. I'm, I'm liking it too, girl, believe it or not. It's really nice. The scenery is beautiful. Whoa, 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 let's not, let's not, let's not wreck the car. Let's not wreck the, the dune buggy. It ain't nothing but a big old box, girl. Better watch out. Who we'll stay on the stay in the lines? Stay in the lines. Stay in the lines. It's really pretty though. It's nice. I like it. Um. All right. You only live once. There stands diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now. Yep, it's called Moe's. It is definitely called Moe's. Um. That's lighter than I thought. 500. I think this is 500. Yeah, this is 500 Lake Road. We love that. It is. Meredith Wise? As I live and live breathe. Live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, no, oh my god, they're slowly you. introducing us to like the my, golden girls oh and what my. happened to them. A few lines here and there. First we get BR. The occasional Arthur. gray hair. But now we gosh. get Blanche Devereaux. Just a moment. My rear tires have less pressure in them. To the mirror. Now come here. Oh, it's, the, it's Blanche everything. after she's accepted faith. I mean, fate in life. Yeah, okay. We'll... One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Oh. News goes around pretty quickly around here. Okay. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you. I will not take no for an answer. Let's go, girl. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie. Yes, ma'am. If ma I remember correctly. That's yeah. right, blueberry one pie. Almost every afternoon after school at one point. That was it. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Oh. I wish they gave Ashley lines other than just like. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. My God.
Oh. That didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh. That poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Why are so you happy then? Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Okay, girl, I won't. You're beautiful. So nice to see you. You're fantastic, even though I don't know who you are, but you're just great. Oh, look at this. Here we go. All right, back around the back around the lake. Um, I think our next stop is the Bear Creek address. Look at this. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I feel like I'm really driving around in like rural Oregon. Honestly, part of this looks like my home state of Tennessee with like the rolling wheat field. Yeah. This is cute, it's cozy. Lord, this is making me like nostalgic. Feeling nostalgic? Nostalgia? I don't know. Used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited uh. Hoover Dam. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Sorry, buddy. My bad. I don't... Ooh, Jesus, girl. What are you doing? Ooh, don't text and drive, honey. Don't text and drive. Ooh, that's one of the sexy motels where they go up in there and they do the sexy stuff. Alright, come on girl, come on. Boy, you can really tell the truck struggles when you go up a hill. Plot twist, probably later on there'll be some car trouble. Ooh, she flies when we go down. Yo, I like that. Oh, this is beautiful. This is cute. So we gotta do this for 21 days. Alright. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, our turn is coming up. We can barely see it. Oh, there's a car, too. Oh, this bear creek again. Oh, there we go. We did it. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Oh, we're going to go through the Beetlejuice Bridge. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, right. Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. Here we go. Here we go. Does he have a waterfall? Do they have a waterfall? It's a he. It's a he. Plot twist. I've played this. Remember? I've, I've at least played it this far. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's get this mail. That is gorgeous. Could you imagine? There's a new face. Could you imagine? That's like your backyard. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack. <laughs> yeah. Plot twist. The last we like time him. I saw a human being was about six years ago. We trying to make some stuff happen here. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I'm Robert. Hope the peace will be everlasting. Okay. Let's see what's inside. What the? Hope it's money. Oh, it doesn't that sound good. Doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly, Freshly baked, baked bull crap. crap. Sorry, Robert. The sound can't the be, sound worse, can't than the be smell. worse than the smell. I'm Just sorry, it. but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Oh, bye, Robert. If it's for whatever it's worth, Robert, I want you to know. I'll be back. I'll, I'll pine for you in this place. This gorgeous place. Can we walk back here? Is this happening? Is this life right now? And swish and walk and walk and swish. This is as far as we can go. Damn. 
But Robert, this is your backyard. And it's beautiful. You're beautiful. I'll be back. Don't worry. I will return. Damn. I knocked the dust off that pussy. Let me just, uh, let me just, okay, this is a truck. This is a, um, this is a, this is just a truck. License plate, Tango, Yolanda, Victor, Michelle, two, one. All right. Made it to memory. Seeing you, Robert. I'm here for two weeks. We like Robert. Alright, let's get back to delivering the mail. I don't want to go through the country like the way that that was going, because this is a little bit faster. But I promise to take y'all on a country road one day. Country road. Take me home. To the place I belong. West Virginia. Wait, this is Oregon. Providence, Oregon. Country song. Flapjacks hit sitting on the griddle, yeah. Okay. Wait, where's the package? The package is in the car, girl. You listen, you better get it. We're just so excited to see somebody we want to talk to. Um, so this is 300 Lake Road. Let's That's get lighter in. than I thought. Lighter than we thought. Hey, girl. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Nope. Um, I'm Meredith. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yep. Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. All right. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Ah. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Yep. Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. All right. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. Girl, I don't know who you think you are, baby, it, but you I have to, to me, drive yes? the goose. It is my goose. It was given to me. The goose is my goose. So I got the goose. But I suppose if it ever fucks up, since you're the mechanic in town, I'll bring it back to you, okay? All right. Damn. All right, I promise. Shit. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? Uh, no. No, there's it no. It currently only receives the local station. Okay. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. Okay. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm okay. working on it, I promise. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. All right. Bye. I'm glad that ended on a positive note. Since you wanted to be one of those, um, um, well, I guess you're not really a, are you? 1986, but are you? You're 16 or something? Or is that, uh, Gen Xer? What? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Boomer done. <laughs> Boomer out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, next package right up here. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Right here. Oh my gosh, all of the kitties. Oh, and they're getting a teddy bear. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Hey, cutie. Oh, we love the car. Cute. Oh, kitty on the roof. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Elderly Hello lady. There. What's your name, then? Um. Okay. Hi, Miss Jenkins. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? That's right. Weiss, of course! 
course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? Uh, right. This is Meryl Rice, Genevieve. She used to no, live no, no, in no, Meredith, town years honey. and years ago. Uh, it's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. That's right, oh, honey. Pardon me, then. You're... You do remember me, don't you? Mm-hmm. How could I forget, Miss... Miss... Um... Mildred How Jenkins. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. That's a read, yes, honey. I do like cats. Is that such a crime? No. So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? It's fine. Like Genevieve here. And Thomas. We love and Genevieve. Oliver. Thomas, Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package uh, for me then? Blueberry. Um... Oh my god. How does this go? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? Oh, don't you I know it, girl. Frank would never feel up the packages. Um. Right. I have to. Listen, I have to take it out of the van. I have eyeballs. It I mean, looks like a bear. I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Ooh. That sounds like me and my parents. I'm busy. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. Mm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, Girl? I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. All right, bye. All right. I think we have one more piece of mail. And then we're done for the day. Right here. Oh, no, it's the next house up. We are lazy. We are lazy. Get back in the car. Get back in the car, girl. Girl, get back in the car. Girl, get in, girl, get in the car. Here we There we go. This is the one. That's the last of them. That's it, baby. All right, we're gonna go back to the post office. We no longer have any mail, so we'll do our best to abide by law. Ah, uh, the mighty Ambrose River. Why is it doing that? Is that just showing the movement of the water? That's interesting. Okay, all right. Alright, we are back at the post office. It has been a fantastic day. I wish there was like a way to tell time. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna do this right. We're gonna park it right every day. Or wait, he likes to load it, don't he? So maybe this is where he loads. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Okay, y'all. Just, just disregard what you're seeing right here. We are having a moment. Oh, girl. Oh, my God, honey. Back it up. Back it up and dump it. Mary had a little lamb, feast as white as snow, 
And everywhere that Mary went, the land would surely go. I said, Mary J. Black, she said, I'm going down. She said, I'm going down. She said, I'm going down. I'm going down by the river with a hanky panky with a bullfrog jump from bank to bank. I said, the east side or west side of suicide pop. Throw it in the circle.